Hello there, good people. Hi, I'm Jason with the Green Country Agriculture. Today I want to tell you a little bit about something called the Single Seed Challenge. The Single Seed Challenge began in 2020 with a gardener by the name of Scott Head in Texas. And he challenged anyone all across the world to take one seed, one single solitary seed, if I can get it, <laughs> hold it in my fingers, and document its growth, its progress from the time that you planted it throughout its growth stages until eventually it was harvested and you either saved seed from it or ate it or did whatever it was that you were going to do with that plant. And instead of planting a whole bunch of different plants to document the progress of one single seed. And it turned out to be fairly a, a challenge for quite a few people to just plant one single seed. For example, usually whenever I plant beans like this uh, Cherokee Trail of Tears black bean, which is incidentally what I planted for the challenge last year, I'll plant three at a time. So following one single plant, and to be perfectly fair, I did plant multiple of the uh, the Cherokee Trail of Tears black bean. The crop went fairly well. The one single seed that I planted by itself did well also. Uh, this year I'm planting something a little bit different. Let me put this in my pocket. This year I am planting a variety of squash called Lakota. And there's the seed right there. I got these from a gardener by the name of Mark Smith, otherwise known as the Arkansas Woodcutter, and of course Arkansas, and he brought these to me last year. I thought, wow, that would be a nice variety to grow. I, I particularly like growing uh, crops that are uh, native in origin. Now, the Lakota squash is not, strictly speaking, exactly as the, uh, the Lakota people would have grown it. Uh, we do know a few things about the history of this particular squash. Let me tell you about it. Okay, so Lakota squash, as it exists now, was uh, developed by a researcher at University of Nebraska uh, from seeds that presumably came from originally some indigenous people of the western Missouri Valley. There could be several different tribes that might have possibly grown this particular type of squash, but uh, predominantly that area was occupied by the Lakota people. So that's how it got its name. Somewhere along the line, it became uh, hybridized with some more European-style squash cultivars. And what we have now is not exactly as described by the, uh, the pioneers whenever they encountered this, this variety of squash. But it is a very interesting one, and it has a, an interesting history as well. So we're going to try finding one single seed of cutter squash. And just to show you, I don't have many tries with this one because... Mark only gave me four. <laughs> and these other three don't look quite as promising as this one. Usually I would plant in a hill, I'd plant three squash, but this time since I only have the one seed, we're just going to put the one seed in there. All right, we'll see if that would get started. If not, I've got three more tries, and I do intend to grow a couple more of this cultivar squash in that patch right there. So eventually I will have, hopefully, three Lakota squash growing in that position there. Hey, if you want to participate in the Single Seed Challenge of 2021, you can. All you have to do is follow the, the description below. All the rules for participating in that particular challenge are in the description below this video. And uh, I hope to, to see you guys joining in the fun. Also, my 2020 single seed challenge isn't quite over yet. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But I've been waiting for a piece of cooking equipment to, to arrive. It's, they're having to make it, apparently. <laughs> so I'm going to be cooking my Cherokee Trail of Tears black beans along with a, another variety of winter squash called Tonka, which I have been saving all of this time, all the way until I guess it's going to be about the 1st of June before I get around to cooking it. I'll be cooking that along with some of the, the onions that we grow, maybe some of the garlic that we grow, because I should be able to pull some of that up at about that time. 
So we'll have a dish with some garlic and onions and squash and black beans, which we grew all here in the backyard this past year. And I might even throw in some, some tomatoes that we've, we've preserved from uh, previous years to, to, to make it a little bit more interesting. But that's all coming up here around the 1st of June or so. That will be the very last video for my 2020 single seed challenge. Hey, that's all I've got for you today, good people. If you found this video informative or entertaining, you know what to do. I will catch you.